My name is Scott Higgins and I'm a research scientist at the IISD Experimental Lakes area. I've spent my whole life living around fresh waters and I've been really fortunate to grow up on two of the Laurentian Great Lakes. Growing up we spent a lot of our time in the outdoors, a lot of canoeing and hiking and camping on the Canadian Shield and so I feel really comfortable in those environments. My name is uh, Dr. Kevin Nobiero. I am a research scientist and at the same time the center director working at Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute. I was born and brought up on the shores of Lake Victoria. I grew up fishing with my grandfather, my uncles, and at a young age I was fascinated with the amazing diversity of fish, of, of reptiles and things like that. When I got a chance to go to the university, I was called to do fisheries and aquatic sciences, and I think uh, this was just like destiny. I was fortunate to get a job at the Experimental Lakes area as a summer student back in my university days. Uh, and from there I just developed an absolute love of research and all of the issues around freshwater. About one third of all Canadians live in the Great Lakes uh, watersheds. They're the home of many industries that live, that, that live on their shores. And the Laurentian Great Lakes are a gateway uh, for transportation to the rest of the world. Lake Victoria serves almost five countries. They are also unique in terms of ecotourism because of their special characteristics. This is one of the largest lakes with very unique fish species. So a lot of tourism comes uh, around this, uh, these regions. These lakes are also regarded as sacred places where people used to go for worship. So they really serve as a, as a bedrock of, of, of life for the people who live around them. At the ISD Experimental Lakes area, we focus on the current or emerging threats to things like drinking water, water quality, food webs and fisheries. And we work extensively with our uh, academic and government partners on a whole variety of research projects. So things like algal blooms, which are one of the most ubiquitous water quality problems in the world. They're a major issue for lakes like Lake Erie. They're also a major issue for Lake Victoria. Questions like oil spills, which we're researching right now, they're an issue for many Canadian lakes, also for the Laurentian Great Lakes. But there's oil exploration going on right now around the African Great Lakes region. Aquatic invasive species are a major issue in the Laurentian Great Lakes. They're a major issue in the African Great Lakes too. So a lot of the threats we face are really similar. Because of the, uh, the similarities between the Laurentian Great Lakes and the African Great Lakes, there are important lessons that we can share. So that the, how they have solved some of the pertinent issues, we can share those experiences with our African colleagues is that we realize that we can also benefit in terms of capacity building uh, so that we can have exposure, ex uh, you know, travel uh, where African colleagues can visit the ISD ELA facility and, and learn from one of the best uh, you know, research sites in the world. I'm really excited because a lot of the threats facing the African Great Lakes and the Laurentian Great Lakes and, and all our lakes in Canada are really similar and it makes a lot of sense to pool our efforts um, and work together to try to solve these problems.